Today we're going to start a new series uh, about uh, statistics with, um, with uh, some applications that we're going to use in order to uh, perform some statistical functions on the computer. And we're going to start with uh, Microsoft Excel so that we could uh, underst understand the theory uh, more uh, easily. And um, so we have uh, here some data about people who were smoking. And these people were monitored for four years, as you can see. Uh, at the beginning of the uh, monitoring, some of them continued smoking and others stopped smoking. And here we have the numbers. So the very first thing that we need to do is that uh, we want to specify the percentage of the people who were deceased by smoking. And in order to do that, we select the cell, write equal, and we get this value, and we divide it by that one here. And we're going to get it in decimals, and we're, uh, we are going to know why in a moment. In order to perform the same um, operation for the rows below, we just go to the corner of the cell, where the cursor changes and we drag like this and we get our values. Now just by looking at the numbers we see around 15.6 percent or 16 percent of the people who continue smoking died. Around 9 percent of the people who stopped smoking died. But just by looking at these values we cannot say that oh our study was significant. You cannot say that. This is not how you specify um, that your uh, results were significant or not. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to um, depend on the normal distribution. What is the normal distribution? So the normal distribution is, uh, is that curve that we have here. And uh, throughout this curve, uh, we have the uh, number of uh, patients or the number of our um, sample all below the curve. So it's represented by 1. Represented by 1. So this is the total number of uh, the sample. And in the middle we have the mean value, which is here. So at the point of zero or null as we call it null and if you go to the right or the left so positive or negative you would meet the standard deviation so at that point at the first line we would have one standard deviation at that point we would have two standard deviations at that point here would have three standard deviations and of course at each standard deviation we would have different um, areas of the curve covered so also here we would have one so we have one two and three now this area covered from one to one standard deviations the part in red represents around 68% of the area of the curve or 0.68 from the 1. The area covered from 2 to 2, so that area in orange plus red represents around 95% of the whole area of the curve or represents around 0.95. The area from 3 to 3 standard deviations, so green plus orange plus red, the whole thing is around 99% of the area under the curve, or 0.99%. We can translate this in another words. We have something which is called the significance level. Significance level. So the significance, so the significance level would equal 1 minus the areas that we talked about. 
most of the people use the significance level of 0.05, which means 1 minus 0.95. So two standard deviations. Two standard deviations. 1 minus 0.95 is 0.05. But we're going to start with this one. And at this one, it's some people use it, but it's very, very, very specific in order to prove your point, and it's harder and harder to prove your point because um, you prove your point by doing this. You have you put two hypotheses. One of them is called the null hypothesis H zero, and your actual hypothesis, the one that you want to prove. You always want to reject this one. You don't want to prove it at all. And your hypothesis, of course, you want to prove it. So the null hypothesis is the one at that point here. And in order to reject this one, you better use the 95% and not the 99% because this one is very, very, very specific. And we'll see now. Now, we'll start with a significance level of 0 0.01, so 1 minus 0 0.99. And we have the threshold value, and this is where we tell Excel that we are using normal distribution, so we write norms, inverse, which is the inverse of the normal distribution, 1 minus the significance level, or the significance value. And then we have the value of our statistics, value of statistic. And we would write it here. So we'll compare this value to that value around here. The value of statistic equals, this is how you calculate the value of statistic. You take this value, so the people who continue to smoke, how many of, of them died? So the percent of these people, and then minus the percentage of the people who died out of the people who stopped smoking. So this one, we put them in brackets, okay, yes, we put them in, in brackets like that, divided by the square root of the total number of people who died in, throughout the monitoring multiplied by 1 minus the same value multiplied by the reciprocal of the total number of people who were smoking plus the reciprocal of the total number of people who stopped smoking and then we close the brackets and we click enter and we get our value of statistic now now we tell Excel what to do we want Excel to tell us if the results were significant or insignificant so we go and we write equal F we open a bracket so we tell Excel if this value and we select it so if this value is bigger than that value here you should write that we reject the null hypothesis like this And if this value is less than that value, you cannot reject the null hypothesis. So if you cannot reject the null hypothesis, this means that your results were insignificant. But if you can, this means that your results were significant enough to reject the null hypothesis and that point that you proved your hypothesis. And we click enter. And it says reject the null hypothesis. This means that we can use that very specific significance level to prove that uh, more people who continue smoking died compared to people who stopped smoking. Um, 
if we change the numbers just in order to let you see if we say if we have less people let's say 45 people who continued smoking actually died we can see that we cannot reject the null hypothesis because this value is less now this is 2.03 and this is 2.3 if we change the significance level to 0 0.05 with these results we can reject the null hypothesis so with less number of people we still can prove our point relatively less number of people we can prove our point so uh, that was how to um, uh, to um, prove the significance of results using uh, Microsoft Excel it was a simple tutorial uh, I hope it was uh, clear and uh, next time we're gonna learn how to calculate the chi-square value so uh, until then I thank you for watching and see you